Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Umfend. Umfend is a surreal horror game about dealing with echoes of the past. Ooh. That was a little weird. June 20th. What are we doing? Some kind of experiment? Crystal emitting strange waves, many charged particles. Fleer, don't drink it. To do, find batteries, water the plant, bring the seed, and pour the fleer into the Gloppity Corp. Uh, so that's one battery. That's where we can put the batteries in. It's being filled with fleer, water the plant, that's where we put the seed. Huh. Is this some kind of teleporter? Singular hammer. We have very... Very bad tool layout in this room. It upsets me in many ways. Now that's gonna be a garage location. Track jacket. Two batteries there. I think we need at least two to three more. Just a painting? Or a foreshadowing? Or I gotta find something? It's never a battery? That is a C? Is there a light switch? Because this is kind of dark. Get glass. Very small kitchen. I do not like that. Get some of that stuff. Can we get some water? Okay, glass of water, and we got another battery. Small place, singular room. There's a bedroom there, though. Just looking around at some of the details, we have a empty bird cage. So like I said, track jacket. Not much as far as outfits. Uh, and we also wear glasses, and we have like a necklace or stopwatch. Small details. Small details. All right, the battery is in. More of the plant. That is weird. Bring the seed. The seed is in. Or the flare. Okay. Work. Science. And oh, we got something working there. A person? Maybe we're trying to bring someone back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Power went out. We set the power in the kitchen. Thank you, giant floating text in the sky. A skateboard? And a knife. That's the, there was the breaker over here that we saw. I think. Here it is. Good. All clear. What? <laughs> Did you have purple hair? Hello? Something came through. We have time to talk. I'm here. I will be returned to you. To restore the cable core module and bury the crystal. Um, who are you and what do you want to talk about? Hey! Yep. Hello? Did you go in the kitchen? Where'd you go? I don't see you here. Hmm. 
Oh wait, no, it's open now. Bathroom? Where's my bedroom then? Couch is my bed. Alright, that's one item we need. Oh, not my face! Time? Or T and... Art. Is this... Are you coming on to me? Do we have a connection or something? What? No, that... That's a little weird. The heart. Hello? I hear noises. I know someone's there. Let me out. There's a key in the toilet or something. Well, it opened finally. Keep resetting my damn house lights. Fix this. We are not fixing this. Looks like it's actually slightly bent. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Maybe it got damaged. Cable's restored. <laughs> Hello? I'm here. I will return to you. Do you remember me? Came on the core module. Kind of like save if someone's lover from another dimension or something? Where'd you go? There's only, only so many rooms you can be in. Where you hiding my stuff? TV? Well, this is a trap. Are you wearing like a hat? Or is that hair? Wait, the door's closed now. My stuff! Now the lights on the kitchen, of course it'd be. That's normal. Don't question it. That's my decorating, it's postmodern. Rude. Hey! You're just messing with me at this point. Do I look behind me or do I look in front of me? Near the bathroom again? Gone. You're just messing with me at this point. You're not even giving me my stuff. Remember. Did you... Did you remember? Leaves. I supposed to remember. What? All right. The purple is clearly your hair.
Where did you go? In here? Well, the chairs are back anyway. There we go, battery. Is that what we wanted? I guess. Come skip. Yeah, that's right. I'm Anita. We didn't even get the core module yet. Or the crystal. Hey. No. See, I've been looking at the, the, the portraits to see if like, maybe they, they give me a hint of who you are. Wow, you're unusually tall. That weirds me out. Oh, no. Maybe you don't have good the best intentions after all. Yeah, that light switch ain't working. Run, hide, what do I do? This light's on over here. Well, I turned the light on, no wonder. Oh, the heart. Dang, why do I have to be so literal? It's exactly that one on the game. It was like black and white, similar. Alright, I found your heart. No! Do I do I want to be away from the vent or near the vent? I, mean, I could be near the door. Well, I'll be next to the hammer. That's the safest place. Maybe the door is unlocked. Or you could just be waiting with a jump scare. Oh, whoop, stepped on a skateboard. That's my bad. Who are you? Don't you remember me? Tell me. Who are you? The girl you ignored at school. At school? I've been beside you for 11 years. What do you want from me? You don't remember me at all. At all. There were articles about me in the newspapers. Like I read newspapers. I always dreamed that you would look my way. I wanted... Love. You to pay attention to me. Oh, nope, yeah, that's never works out. I'm alive. Apparently. For how long? Oh, my flashlight, or we turned it off. Do I want to go near- wait, no, you're different! See? Different outfit, you're tall. A, a brother and a sister? You were the one that was showing me the heart. 
there it is. There's the heart again. It could just be you have two outfits. I mean, I could be wrong. Empty. Like my soul. That's something. Oh! Why on my face? We got the core module. The door's closed. Of course, it never goes easy, does it? This is the problem with science when it goes too far. You just want to do some cool techno stuff, make a time machine or something. Instead, you, uh, summon a girl who had a crush on you from 11 years ago. You really can't let things go. Hear the water running again. Maybe never stopped. You know, you could be like nice ghosts. You could. Not oh, okay. Its course is open now. You know, do the spooky stuff. You could just be all like that one ghost or that one husband or whatever in that famous romantic movie. You can just make clay pots. No spooky cockroaches. That doesn't work anymore. You think I forgot? Did I do something wrong? Maybe I'm not so innocent. Will you return to me? How? Die. Oh, can do. I think we're still missing one item. I don't like how the whole world's got a bit of a overhaze. No. I think it's getting progressively darker. Resistor! Let's go. No! Time loop! Maybe you just do have, like, one's a school outfit and one's... Casual, I guess. Looks like your height changes so dramatically, so I can't tell if it's two different ghosts or it's just slight design changes. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this, come on. That's weird. Activate. Again. That text is gone, but that's still there. We're done. We're done for. Should we make it run forward while we have the chance? No, it is closed. Do I walk into it? Apparently. Is this the portal go home? Where am I? Damn, that's some hella good science. 0624-1996. Maybe it was a time- it was, it was a time machine. We're going back.
Glad we did remember. Hi! Hello. So that's it for Umfend. I'm, I'm a little confused in the ending in the sense of, um, I, I, I understand it, I understand what happened. Uh, I just don't quite know if, were we making the time machine for the sake of making a time machine? Or were we making the time machine to purposely go back in time and save the, uh, the girl? Because when the main character sees the ghosts, they're ignorant of who they are, but it could just be that they kind of forgot what they look like and they're like, whoa, there's a ghost there. It makes more thematic sense if they were making the time machine for a specific reason and not just to go back and win the lottery, and then they switched it at the last minute to that timeline. But overall, I, I actually, I actually liked it. It had the like, kind of unique aesthetic, and a little bit of spooky parts and a little tension here and there. Uh, it, it's obviously PT influence. You can get kind of tell by the leaky, grime, blood, kind of cockroach thing coming out of the vents and stuff like that. It's very similar. And then the kind of the ghosts kind of appearing in the little corners of your eyes and stuff. That's kind of like that. But they they did do it well. I thought well, actually one of the most creative parts specifically was the branch tapping against the window. So you hear that noise, and you actually can go over to the window and you see that branch tapping there. That's a little creative thing. It's a little small detail that you, you wouldn't see used as a, a kind of scare. Usually you would just have like the noise, and you wouldn't see that level of uh, something actually happening out there. And it's also kind of set up because earlier on you can kind of catch that quick glimpse of the, the ghost outside the window. So it's not unusual for the ghost to be out there, so you can look at it and you see like the branch tapping. So I can tell for like a little short, like 10 minutes or so in the game, they actually did put some fun and effort into this. So I appreciate that, I liked it. I liked how they kind of resolved, like there was kind of a happy ending at the end. And in the end the message was kind of... The main character just had to go back and just notice the person kind of avert a bad fate, whether or not they love each other or not, you know, that's not the point. But everyone's happy. Yeah. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Umfend. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.